What's up everyone? I'm your Pro7 and this is Play with the Clay episode 1 and that's a pretty funny name for this episode and we'll be covering stadium today. So basically what I'll do in this episode is go over some of the claimer spots in these maps, the four four new, well not new but four strike four stri first strike map packs. So yeah, and today as I said we'll be covering a uh, stadium. So in Modern Warfare 2, I got a lot of kills with Claymore and Black Ops. They're even more deadly, so it's even better. And I got a lot more kills with it. So I decided to go ahead and share with you guys the spots I put my Claymores in. And just give you guys uh, some tips about them. So basically, let's start off with the ladder in Stadium. So uh, some good Claymore places down there. No, those are not actually good Claymore places. The best Claymore place, if you're going to camp up this ladder, is right here. If you lay down on top of that great thing. Uh, and just have your claymore facing 90 degree to towards the ladder one of the lasers facing to the One edge of the ladder and the other one on the other facing the other edge And also that's a pretty good one because you cannot blow up the claymore by just shooting through there But now let's say if you're new to claymores and you never use them much in modern for two and I guess just use uh, Grenades and stuff so let me go ahead and help you a little bit of with claymores and give you guys some tips and the basics of them so let's go ahead and go ahead, uh, go over those okay so claymore has two lines lasers the first laser will trigger the claymore and by the time you get in the middle of the two lasers the claymore is already blown up and to place a claymore effectively you're supposed to make a I'll, I guess I usually make a rectangle around the corner I'm gonna place it in and I'm gonna and I have my claymore facing towards the be like not facing but being in the middle of the two dots in the rectangle that are towards the corner so basically as you just saw example and that'll explain to you guys better what I actually meant that's the most effective way I found to place claymores in black ops modern for two and yeah so with keeping these in mind you can just do that 90% rule uh, on those edges that I shot and these spots that I'm quickly showing you can just use that 90% rule and put claymores there but now okay this is a bummer this room has two entrances and one is big one is small and it's kind of hard to cover both with one claymore since you can you only get one claymore in black ops so what you can do is well that's good f just for covering that door but now in a second I'll show you what you actually can do to cover both of the doors so that's a good one for covering that door for the next one well you can just walk over it and, and like walk by it and claymore won't even kill the person so placing a claymore here is effective but is not the best placing a claymore somewhere around this table is the most effective so have your claymore like that little top thing top uh part of your claymore uh right on the ledge right there so not like the top part you can see a curved part on your claymore on the top have that uh hitting the little curvish part on the table and I'll show you an example of what I mean right now that claimer will kill everyone walking through that door until the ledge the other ledge of the door so what I mean actually is that little top thing it has to on the claymore on the right hand top corner it has to touch that curvy part of this table and that'll be a perfect claimer place to kill someone who's gonna walk through those doors and now right here this is another one if you just put a claymore like that that's a pretty effective claymore to covering the doors so try to follow what I do but you have escape from that if you just run into the other square the claymore most probably will hurt you but it won't really affect be effective that much and won't kill you so if you move up to close move the claymore up closer well I'm trying to talk fast here because the video goes fast kind of so uh, it'll be more effective so yeah that's that and just use the 90% rule in the other doors and this is a better one than using a 90% rule just knock off that a plant if you have a silenced weapon don't waste your like don't do it if you don't have a silenced weapon and just put a claymore as I did uh, as the two lasers one hitting the door ledge and the other one being a straight line towards where you don't want them to pass and I'll pretty much kill the person who tries to walk through the door so since this is a post commentary I kind of forgot what I did oh yeah so claymores on stairs like that that's the fate worst claymore play sorry if you like putting claymores like that but that's terrible I guess like that there it's not that great because you can just jump off if you're playing if you play black ops for a little 
most probably you'll just jump off, stun the claymore, and you'll because you can see it, and stun the guy in there and go kill him. So that's not another great claymore spot because it'll just give up that you're in there most probably. So a good claymore spot will be either right here, but that's not the best because when you come up a staircase, you're gonna look toward the side that the wall of the staircase that you're facing is not gonna block. So basically, you're gonna look on the right hand side in this case and you might see the lasers of the claymore so I recommend placing a claymore Whoa. oh yeah the trash can since I threw a stun there was a trash can by the door it moved but just lie down by the trash can if there's no stun grenade or if it's not just face try to be somewhere around there and put a claymore with the 90% rule and that'll pretty much take care of anyone trying to come up there and bother you while you're trying to get your kill streaks going so yeah and I'm just showing you the lines that the claymores are facing right now. So you can just look at it and then try to memorize the places because I feel like those are the best places. So if someone, if you've watched my spot jumps and spots video or someone else's, you know that you can get up here by that jumping off, uh, jumping by up by up on those boxes and getting up. So as you saw, I put a claymore in in one of the suitcases on the ground or bags or whatever they are so if you put one there it's kind of hard it's kind of hard to see and also it's pretty effective so i recommend you putting a claymore in there so uh let's see what's our next spot mm. okay right here in this area you can just use the 90 percent rule all the way except uh wait all the way except uh this where you get to this blue trash can let's say you want to put a claymore right there so Put it on top of it no that not that great obviously everyone can usually see it they won't go there put it uh like try to go like that that's still obvious you can see it if you try to hide it by the trash can let's see what will happen this is a common mistake that i see online when i play you try to hide the claymore behind the trash can let's see what will happen let's shoot the claymore and figure out usually that should be a kill by that claymore but Oh, wait, what? Oh, the trash can blocks all the damage. So if you didn't know, take a note. The trash can blocks the damage, the most of the damage, and it's not, it's like the one of the worst uh, claymore places. So what you do is just a, find a straight le edge from the trash can and just make your 90% and make your 90% rule thing by a rectangle well you can just look at it you don't have to shoot at the ground and just shoot and that claim more will just basically cover anyone trying to go there that's one of the best claimer places if you want to put a claimer by the by that trash can so now let's move on if someone wants if their spawn is all the way over there that i just shot and you just put a claimer there they'll basically take care of them if they jump through the window but from the other side if their spawn is there and uh you just put a claymore right there where I shot on this edge of this counter. So don't go too far back because the claymore will jump, like will hop somewhere else. But if you just put it right in the perfect place, you'll be hard. It'll be hard to see the claymore laser lines, and it'll pretty much guarantee a kill for you. And also, you could have just moved. I could have like moved the claymore a little back there, and yeah. And since there's like a little ledge, which prevents you from standing up and just hopping across so a claymore on the ground wouldn't be effective there from the other side okay right here in the stadium if you put a claymore like that or if you just replica off the claymore on the other side of that uh thing it'll basically take care of the people trying to go across and go get to the two uh end doors so just look at the example i shown in this video and you'll get what i mean so since this is a curve like kind of curvish room uh, just do your regular thing and try your best by having claymores if you exactly just want to cover the door and that'll do the job but it won't be that great because like the room it's not like a square or a rectangle so it's gonna be hard so you can use claymores such as that that I showed you or if there's a box around it's pretty helpful if there's usually box around if you have a silenced weapon just shoot it around until you get to, you get it to a place you like it and put the claymore inside of the box totally hard to see and it will pretty much kill everyone because everyone trying to get through the door if you do what I do so, and what I just did by put how I place the claymore in the box so if you want to cover this door just put it on the trash can and hide it and pretty much it's hard to see and it'll kill someone trying to walk in 
And for the next one, if you want to cover this middle place, you can just put a claymore as I did. But not too much that people can see or have escape lines, such as that little place on the left hand side of the place I shot. It's like escape line, so you can just run through. But if you move up the move the claymore up closer, such as that, the claymore will be less effective. Uh, I, I what am I saying? More a lot more effective and actually it'll easily kill the person. But it's still it's kinda easy to see the laser line, so I I'm not sure about a great spot there. Just experience experiment. So in here, if you put a claymore facing out in there, it's basically going to kill a lot of people. I get a lot of kills like that because people try to go on that side or the other side that I showed. So it's pretty much going to kill whoever tries to pass by that. And if you want to cover this door right here, just put a claymore as I just did. Isn't it getting basic right now? Yeah. I hope you guys uh, learn are learning from this video. And Whoa, sorry, I just hit on my chair. Ah, oh, that hurt, but oh well. Uh, hope you guys are learning from this video, and it'll help you get better at Call of Duty. And if you're wondering what happened, I hit my arm on the chair for some reason. And just use the 90% rule, 90 degrees rule, sorry if I said percent before this, like in some other parts. Just use the 90 degree rule, and uh, you'll be good to go in any corner, and, such as the ones that I'm shooting are the effective ones, and such as that. That's an effective claymore, and you'll get some kills with your claymores. So, let's see what's our next spot we're going to cover. Okay, upstairs. So, going upstairs, don't put a claymore on the stairs or, like, on the left-hand side going up the stairs. Put it on the right-hand side right here because what that'll do is the cones will be distracting when someone walks up the stairs. And also, like, someone who runs up the stairs, they're usually going to look right there where I'm showing you right now or they're gonna want to come to look inside of that window so basically that claymore is already gonna kill them so yeah but for the other side uh, let me just make sure if you yeah for the other side just don't put a claymore like that don't try to get unorthodox or whatever you say whatever white boy says uh, white boy is a pretty funny commentator but yeah so just put a don't put a claymore under your trash can too just uh, make your 90 degree thing you don't have to shoot obviously don't shoot that's stupid unless you really want to and you have a silence weapon and just put place a claymore as i did and they'll take care of the guy walking up the stairs because they'll usually look at the window which i pointed out like a second ago and it'll pretty much kill him so placing a claymore there if you want to cover this huge door it's not a great idea it's kind of easy to see or any of those places that I sh just shot so don't put a claymore there and it's not that great just put it on the opposite side such as this and just do the 90 degree thing as always and it won't be hard to see and it'll basically take care of someone trying to come up and if you want to take care of someone going up the stairs just use the a claymore by the trash can instead of putting it on the other side as there so now let's see what's our next claymore spot. Okay, so if someone tries to run in between the, t like run in this door, basically if you put a claymore like that, that's an obvious claymore and you'll see they'll see it. So it won't do be that effective. So you can either like shoot that and make that as like a distracting thing, so it's hard to see, but you don't have to do it. And just place a claymore, having your 90 like degree thing, by right, as like how will. Just imagine that if they walk, which way are they going to face and place your claymore like that. And that will pretty much take care of the guy. But even a better way, it will be facing the wall that they're not going to be looking. So let's say if we're running there, the wall on the right is going to be covering their view. So you just want to put it on, on the wall facing that wall so they won't really easily see it. And they'll pretty much kill them. So yeah, let's move on. Okay, for this uh, window to cover it, just don't put... It's not a great idea to put it any of those places that I'm holding the claymore. The best place to put it, I guess, is by the trash can because the trash can kind of hides it. And also it's distracting so people won't really look for claymore. So they, they'll, they won't be worried. Ah, I'm, I'm like talking way too fast. I should slow down. So yeah, they won't be worried and they'll just die by the claymore. Pretty basic, isn't it? Okay, let's see. Okay, in this little room in the spawn you can put a claymore right like as I'm doing right there by the counter and they'll pretty much take care of that door and for the other door you can just put it facing like that 
but that's not too great because it comes up a little and the clamor moves up a little and it's easy to see so just put it on the other side and use the 90 degree rule and most people will run won't like feel run toward there not toward the other side so pretty much kill them it's better so yeah you can pretty much understand what I'm saying better by looking at what I'm how I'm showing in the video and got a bonus spot but that I forgot to show in my jump to spot videos right here jump up there you're basically so hard to see because you camouflage in that and you just look like a I don't know electric box and electricity box so yeah and if you haven't seen my jumps and spots video please go ahead and check it out there'll be a link to it on the descri description oh, okay so just use a 90% rule off for the places I showed and okay for right here you can put a claimer like that and that'll be the best claimer for covering the door right there okay now let's move on so you don't want to put a claimer up the stairs if you're gonna camp up the stairs so you don't want to put it on the stairs or either on that little place that I shot you want to put it where I just put it because I don't know it just works the best and I tried it you get more hit markers if it's down there and it's easier to see so you can just crouch and they'll stun it and yeah it won't be that effective or either if you're gonna can't just camp in the balcony you just care about that you can just use the 90 percent rule so let's go ahead and draw out a rectangle so you can either put it like that or you can flip the angle of it as you can see so you don't always have to face the door you can put it on the other angle still between the two dots but still it'll be effective so just take in mind take a note in mind that uh, put a claymore where you actually need it don't put a claim just don't randomly put a claymore not that great so to, co to cover the door right here you can just put a claymore in the box and it'll pretty much kill the person and or either by this water place water fountain it'll pretty much kill people going toward the left okay to get people coming in from that door uh, you can just put it by the box that I just put the claymore on or you can move it the claymore back behind this counter uh, the desk and it'll be pretty good and you'll get a kill so okay in this room there's two entrances one right there and one right there most people like to use the jump that I showed in my jumps and spots videos or other people showed in their jumps and spots videos to get a hot jump on the table and go upstairs but what you can do is put a claymore as I did and shoot these uh, stuff from the desk and try to get them on the claymore and they'll like and it'll make the claymore kind of invisible not really invisible but harder to see and more confusing to find so most people from either both sides from the window or the door will die by the claymore and I'm not gonna demonstrate how you can hide it but you can try it if you have a silence weapon if not just leave it it'll do its job but you can move it around in the room if you don't like that and this is the jump I'll just go over it right there as you just saw in case you don't want to go watch the jumps and spots videos but it'll be nice if you actually go ahead and do watch it okay uh, let's see what's the next okay next one is right here so let's say if, if you're gonna camp up there the layer the like be up above us above where I'm right now you can just put a claimer right there and I'll pretty much cover the entrance to going up by uh, going up yeah like that from down here in some random claymore spots even though I don't recommend them but they they do the job for people trying to from the spawn on the right hand side of me or behind me right now they'll pretty much take care of people who are coming f uh, to go trying to go right there or trying to go to the other side and also you can have a claymore there but it's not that effective just letting you know okay and trash cans I hate when I see trash cans when I'm supposed to put claimers and ledge. Ledge like that will make the claimer laser face the ground and that'll do minimum damage. Uh, and yeah, I believe that'll do minimum damage. So just do as I did, but that's kind of easy to see. So I guess a better one will be on the left hand side right there using the 90 uh, degree thing rule and it'll pretty much kill people trying to go to the right or either going to the, like, the other side of the map. So yeah, I guess that's all guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a, li a like or a comment and subscribe to my channel for more. And just for the epic end, let's go ahead and do 360 Tomahawk Claymore. 
well, not on a person, just do it at a random. Tomahawk, Claymore. All right, peace out.